All right, folks, we're doing another video over here. The other day I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up one of these automatic center punches. Now, out of the package, this thing was a pretty unreliable piece of junk. I could get it to punch about every other time. Sometimes I'd get a couple in a row out of it. Sometimes I couldn't get it to punch at all. It was completely worth the four bucks I spent on the thing. But I'm going to show you how to what makes these things tick and I'll show you how you can get one of these fix it up a little bit and have a nice reliable tool to use at a very low cost. Stay tuned. Alright, first thing we're going to do is take this apart. Now, it comes apart in three pieces, or this case comes apart in three pieces, and it's lefty tighty. So, first thing we'll do is take off this end cap, and there's a spring in here, and a little plunger, you might call it. that looks like this. It's round on this end and it's got a hole in this end. Okay. And then we gotta take this other thing apart which is also righty-loosey. And this piece just has a hole in it. And this has this little piece which we'll get to in a minute. And the punch itself goes in here. So that part we can just leave in there. We ain't going to mess with that. Uh, this part here, if you notice, the pin here is not centered in the spring. And now that is crucial to the operation of this thing, that that's like that. That's why if you take this apart, you'll see the spring's got a little bend in it. Okay, that's how the thing works. Now what happens is when you push on it, it goes up through that hole that we've seen in here and it pushes on this piece off center. And as you keep pushing it through the hole, it rights itself and it gets centered in this hole and then it goes in there and that's when you get your uh, force to cause the the punch. So here's what the problem is with these. The surface on here and the surface on here is out of the package finished very roughly. Uh, they didn't clean them up at all. So all you have to do is take a little piece of sandpaper. This is some 220. I just had it laying around. And just take the end of it, just this tip, and smooth it out a little bit. And knock off the rough edges. Doesn't take much. I've already done it a little bit, but it doesn't take much. And you can get a real nice shiny finish on there. Okay, that's what you want because it's got to run smooth. It's got to be able to smoothly move on this without getting hung up, which is what was happening originally. So then you can take this surface here and do the same thing. Just rub it on this paper, smooth it out a little bit. It also doesn't take much. And you get all the rough edges worked off of it. And it's going to work real good. So, you take this, put it back in its spring, make sure it's off center like that. <clears throat> Stick it back in here, put this back on, lefty tighty. Take your now, 
this is another little pro tip. Take your uh, three in one oil and put a little drop in and around here before you stick that back in there. And then take your other spring and your cap. Lefty tidy. Can't even say that. And you're done. Now you got yourself a nice reliable automatic center punch. And that's a lot better than it was working right out of the package. But that's it. Four bucks. Got a pretty decently reliable tool for a home gamer like me. This is perfect. Just what I needed. Alright folks, I gotta go. Adios.